Welcome to Jamaica News Online TV with Esmer Austin, and here's what we have in today's news. Deportee disputes drug accusation. JUTC restarts dedicated route from Watford to Halfway Tree. Christiana crash resulted in dead. Driver is in jail. Falmouth Trelawney woman shot dead. Marsha Simit steps down as Member of Parliament. And a tropical wave will bring heavy rain and severe winds beginning Wednesday. Details coming right up. A deportee is prepared to prove his innocence after police investigators have laid drug charges on him. He says he was falsely accused of being in possession of cocaine. It was thin set. The police arrested him for having white powdery substance resembling cocaine and knowing that it was thin set, the accused remarked. Morgan appeared before the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court on Monday, facing an indictment of possession of ganja, dealing in ganja, using premises for the sale of ganja, and possession of cocaine. The accused, who was deported from the United States to Jamaica in 2012, spoke eloquently before the judge without the assistance of a lawyer. This is a minor offense, Your Honor. I could have gotten station bail for this, Morgan argued. Sounds like you can represent yourself, Mr. Morgan, the judge said. Prosecutors alleged that vegetable matter resembling ganja was found at the premises Morgan white powdery substance resembling cocaine were also found, Your Honor. It was quarter pound of ganja and it was still on the stick. If I was to pick them off, it would be less than it was for my personal use. Morgan explained, the matter was adjourned until September 16 for the investigators to attend as well as for the forensic certificate to be placed on the file. Morgan was remanded in custody until then. Jamaica Urban Transport Company has resumed its dedicated route between Waterford, Portmore, St. Catherine, and Halfway Tree, St. Andrew, as well as downtown Kingston. Member of Parliament for South East St. Catherine, Robert Miller, said the move was facilitated by the recent addition of 100 new compressed natural gas buses to the JUTC fleet. He said the residents have been greatly inconvenienced since the route was abandoned by the JUTC a few years ago. They would have had to walk to the top of Waterford, they would have had to take private transportation to the top, and sometimes they would have to wait for hours before the bus actually come into Waterford. So I'm happy for the additional bus to the fleet, especially over here in Portmore, and I'm happy that the JUTC saw it fit to resume the route back into Waterford, said the relieved Member of Parliament, who attributed the successful development to years of lobbying. Driver of the Range Rover involved in Monday's deadly crash in Christiana, Manchester is reportedly now in police custody. The news understands that the driver surrendered to the police on Monday evening. The crash claimed the life of a 10-year-old, Travon Sanchez, while his mother, a police officer, was severely injured. The incident occurred at about 7 o'clock Monday morning along Sedberg Main Road. It's reported that Constable Cabrina Crawford was transporting the grade 6 student to Christiana Lee's primary and infant school when the Range Rover overtook a line of traffic and slammed into their vehicle. The driver left the scene following the crash. Marcia Simit, resignation as Member of Parliament for the constituency, comes after serving four years in the post. Marcia Simit, Member of Parliament for North East St. Anne, has resigned with immediate effect. Simmons' resignation as MP for the constituency comes after serving four years in the post. Her resignation was confirmed in a statement to the media from the Office of the Prime Minister on Tuesday. Prime Minister Andrew Holness thanks Smith for her contribution to representational politics. Earlier this year, Smith was replaced as constituency chairman 
in the Northeast St. Anne by Senator Matthew Samuda. Samuda is expected to be the party standard bearer in the constituency when an election is held. Smith, who represents the governing Jamaica Labour Party, has come under fire from constituents who have accused her of being an ineffective member of Parliament. Smith an unidentified woman was killed on Duke Street in Falma, Trelawney, on Tuesday morning. Explosions were heard about 1.15 a.m. and the police were alerted. The woman was found face down in a pool of blood. No motive has been established for the attack. The Meteorological Service of Jamaica is reporting that a strong tropical wave is expected to move across the island on Wednesday, bringing heavy showers, thunderstorms, and strong winds. The announcement was made by the Met Service on its ex formerly Twitter page on Monday. The tropical wave, currently located in the eastern Caribbean Sea, is producing a large, deorganized area of showers and thunderstorms. According to the Met Service, the wave has a moderate chance of developing into a tropical cyclone over the next few days. Strong gusty winds are also expected across Jamaica during that time, especially across southern parishes. Are you tired of browsing all over the latest happenings in Jamaica? Discover it right here on Jamaica News Online TV YouTube channel. Foreigner home and you want to be in touch with the happenings in Jamaica? Guess what? 6 p.m. Ask and you shall receive, guys. So if you are watching this video, like, subscribe, comment, or share, hit that subscribe button and remember to comment below with your thoughts. Guys, make sure you come back again and again to watch our videos. Guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment down below.